Experimentation. This is your briefing for step three. This will be done directly into your workbook. So, and then you're not also not limited to pages that you want to use, so see how you go. Um, page one will include mark making experiments, character studies with unusual shapes, and only sketching in tones of one color. So I'll explain further now. And then page two will be collage and mixed media of your character and or maybe aspects of your scene. So have a look at the details of your scene. The next page we're going to have a look at, this is the last page, it will be evaluate an intention. Um, please have a look at these little blue palette markers. Um, as you go, you can fast forward to get to the instruction for each little page. Okay, so now let's get ready for experimentation. So gather newspapers, magazines, old books, used boxes and food packets. It's easier to paint and draw into paper-based packaging rather than foil or plastic, so keep it paper-based. It'll make it easier for you. And look for lots of text and things like that. That's what we'll be using next. Drawing tools. First, try and find as many unusual tools that you can use for drawing. You may want to sharpen your tools with a craft knife. Uh, food uh, for colour and tone. <laughs> try to look around your house for some unusual materials that you can use as an alternative to paint and ink. <laughs> like Worcester sauce, turmeric, balsamic glaze and tea. Well, Worcester tea is the best. It stains really well. A beetroot juice, um, food colouring if you have. Uh, so this is where experimentation will really come into play. Mark making. Once you've gathered your materials and created some unusual tools, it's time for your first challenge. Each step will push you out of your comfort zone, so you might feel a mix of emotions, um, but be brave and don't give up. This is actually quite a fun step. Mark making. Start by using the tools and colours that you found to make unusual marks. Try and see how you can create a sense of line and tone with your experimentation. You see the intensity of tone to like as it whittles down. It might be a good idea to work with separate pieces of paper and then paste into your A3 book. Even torn paper can add an interesting texture and line. It could also add to the mood. Character study. So this is your next step. Uh, your scene may have a clear character in it or may be more than one character. If you feel your scene is a bit more abstract, say it talks about weather or something, don't stress, you can anthropomorphize anything, even weather can have a personality. So just chat to me if you get stuck. Okay, the next step is our character sketches. So I would like you to first gather as many unusually shaped bottles, objects, containers that you have lying around the house. This is going to be like a basic shape. It's going to be a real challenge for you to find these things and work with the mood of your character and this and that with the objects that you found. Using tones of one colour. Here's an example of just using blue tones. So if you use the lighter tones, then you use darker tones on top of that and finally like a dark black or even just a darker, the darkest tone of that colour. This helps to build up tonal contrast. Can you see in those figures how you get the low lights and the high lights? So it helps to build form. Working with a lighter colour first and then a darker colour on top is also a little bit like using your HB and then your 6B on top of that. Can you see how using the bottle shape actually just helps you with the character development, just in terms of posture, body structure, getting that sense of body language, guys. That's quite important, so this is a really great exercise just to train yourself to think unusual shapes and exaggerate your form a bit. Have a look at how some simple shapes can be really, can really accentuate a character's look and the mood and emotion and the feeling. So it's a great exercise, just keep at it. And also try and when you're thinking about a, a posture, act it out. Really activate your facial features and your body language and take photos. It'll help you with your reference, help you understand what your muscles are doing. Even if you change your character's look for your final, this exercise will teach you a lot about body language and posture and structure. Next up, we're going to be doing some collage and mixed media of your scene or character or other elements of your scene. This is where you'll explore the text options of your scene as well. Gather all the odd pieces of paper you can find for this next step. What are the words in your chosen scene? One or two words or a sentence or very short paragraph of most piece, guys. Not too wordy. Let the illustration speak for itself. For any text, use cut-up letters, new, uh, newspapers, magazines, and do something like this. It's quite lacquer. I'd like to show you some examples now. This is a collage that's done with some textured paper. Beautiful illustrations. 
Um, very well thought out with contrast and placement. Very expressive. Jolly clever, don't you think? Now, mixed media. Try and continue using your experimental materials as much as you can. But you can dive into using your any materials you can get your hands on, basically, for mixed media. So have a look here with the collaging of maps and painting over it, drawing onto it. So find a style that would suit the mood and feeling of your scene. Experiment as much as possible. So you might need a few, few more pages in your workbook. But evaluate. Now this is the last step. Discuss how you found this experience. What did you enjoy and what didn't you enjoy? Do you, any of these techniques suit the mood of your story? Has it opened up new possibilities for your scene? Are there any other thoughts about what you have discovered after these experiments? And then your intention. By this stage, you should have a good idea of the style, mood, and character options of your scene. So now you can say something like, I intend to create a scene by using what? And adding this text, such as, to create this kind of mood. <laughs> the next brief that will follow on from this will be for step four. This will be working on small rough thumbnails to study the composition that will best work for your final illustration. So you're nearly there, guys. And good luck and I hope you enjoy everything. Don't overthink it, just be brave and dive right in. Thanks for watching.